it comes down to listening to two sides, to both sides of the story. And so um, in recent times, for instance, we had news of um, a resident electoral um, commissioner which claimed that he rejected the bribe of one million dollars, US dollars from a political aspiratory candidate. Um, but a couple of days later, INEC released a statement on their Twitter handle saying this is fake news as this never happened. And so what the re way we could tackle this is by trying to hear both sides, not believing one part of the divide. And so if APC, which is one of the political parties, says X, Y, Z, sometimes it's important to hear what PDP will say. It's most likely they would have different opinions, but it helps you have that balance to make a decision yourself whether this is real or not. Um, Nigerians should also try verifying from news, um, from media outlets, what, when they get information. So you could get information from a random person. It's important to check their profile to see what type of news um, they put out, whether it's in line with one particular um, part of the divide or the other. So extra level of verification from people's profiles. Um, we've noticed a lot of profiles were created on um, Twitter, for instance, in the last one year. And so when you see an account which is less than one year giving you authoritative information, it's important for you to go check from other sources to see if it's true. And so the verification process is ongoing. Um, social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, 